little off topic with our readings today, but I, sometimes it's important to talk about the things we do in church, too. How many of you sit in a car seat in a car? Yeah? Oh, everybody sits in a car seat. Do you sit in a booster or do you sit in the, in the seat of the car now, right? Booster. That's excellent. You know, they've changed the rules since kids were little. And Betty sat at the booster when she was, uh, until she got to be heavy enough too. And all the rest of her friends were sitting in a regular car. We were the ones who said we're going to follow the rules and sit in a booster. Why do kids sit in boosters or car seats? Why do they do that? So you're protected. It's safer for kids to do that, right? It's a good idea. Would it be a good idea for a mommy or daddy to sit in a car seat? No. They wouldn't fit, would they? They'd be too big. They grow out of it. There comes a time when it's okay for them to sit in a regular seat. This Sunday, we're going to start doing something new in worship. When it comes to the last hymn, we're all going to get to sing it. But there might be some people and some mommies and daddies who don't think it's time to sing hymns. And you know what? That is okay. We're going to do it at the very end of the service so that anybody who's not comfortable with folk singing because they're worried about the spread of COVID can go out into the narthex or even can end their service there. And are we going to be mad at them because they do that? No, of course not. Just like we're not mad at children who sit in car seats, people need to do what's safe for them, right? And that's good news that we can have folks who are singing and folks who are not singing, we can have people who leave early and people who stay for the whole service. We can have people who sit in car seats and sit in regular seats. That's good news. Let's pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks that we can make good choices for ourselves. Help us in this worship service to make a good choice for ourselves and to not judge others for their choices. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.
We are hopeful. We've tested everything. That said, only candles work every time. So uh, be sure uh, to come. We'll be talking about uh, electing our nominating committee members, Deborah Bowling, Paul Hillier, and Pat Quash. We will also be discussing our membership with DuPage United. And we will be presenting our vision and mission project for the coming year. So be sure to do that. We need at least 35 of you. The Mission Outreach Giving Tree is up in the hallway. I just recently read something that said the Giving Tree is the only tree that becomes more beautiful the fewer ornaments it has. So please make our tree beautiful, take an ornament. We're collecting $25 gift cards for 40 students and also presents for seniors at Hensdale Community Services for Dubai. You can sign up to order poinsettias. Uh, we want that order uh, by December 1st, and those prices are in your bulletin. Today is also the last Sunday to sign up for the Heart the Group Three Sizes, our Grinch-related uh, Advent devotion book. Uh, it's going to be taught on Sunday mornings. You don't have to have the book to attend, um, but you might enjoy it. It's, it's not a bad book. Next Saturday, November 27th, between 8 a.m. and noon, we'll be decking the halls for Advent. So uh, I know we've already got folks signed up, but if you'd like to be part of making our church bright for the holiday season, please join Graham and the team 8 to noon next Sunday. Saturday, thank you. Sunday would be kind of wrong, wouldn't it? Next Saturday, that's what it's going to happen. Uh, and December 5th, in two weeks, uh, the church and community will be collecting those small items for recycling, your batteries, and other things. Uh, you can plan on bringing them then. Thank you all who have already pledged. We're excited to be a little bit, a few more pledges than we had at this point last time, last year. Still not at 2019 levels. We do need your pledges so we can plan well. You can send them in, you can bring them in, you can even take a picture and get it to Chris. All of those ways work. At this time, we'll worship God by tithes and our offerings. Be generous, God is good.
thrones were set in place, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothing was white as snow, and hair on his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousand served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. As I watched in the night visions, I saw one like a human being coming with the clouds of heaven. And he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from Revelation. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him. And on his account, all of the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. God. this meeting that what we do will build up your whole church 
Let your Holy Spirit govern and direct us, that we may consult together peacefully, pleasing you with all we say and do, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.